Intermediate Accounting 6B Bonds Exchange for Other Assets. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep. This is taken from the Intermediate Accounting text with the authors here, the 10th edition, and it's Chapter 7. Well, we talk in accounting about uh, exchanges that don't involve cash, and this is one of them. So a note, a note receivable exchange, not for cash, but for something else, for some other property, good, or service, some other asset, something else of, of value. Now, we want to make an assumption that this is an arm's length transaction. It's not with a related party, so it has a an independent, measurable, reasonable value placed on the exchange. It's not a bargain purchase, in other words. There's no, if there's no stated interest rate, we're going to use the fair value for the present value of the note. Now, there are some more complicated uh, exceptions, but I'm going to do this one example since it's the one that's most tested and used. So my example is Levi Jeans Company sells land. Maybe they have land for a factory they no longer need to Acme Manufacturing. They don't get cash. They get a five-year note that has a maturity value of 35 247. Levi bought the land for $14,000. They're selling it for $20,000, a $6,000 gain. So that the present value, which we just set up here as the fair market value of the land, would be $20,000. Similar to what I did on 6A with zero coupon bonds, the question is, what present value table rate would get us from the $20,000 present value to the $35,247 at maturity. And in fact, what I did in this one was I divided the fair market value of $20,000 by the maturity value of $35,247, and we see that it's about 57%. I then went out to the present value table for five years, since that's the life of the loan, the life of the note, excuse me, five years. And the table said that 12% for five years was a 0.57 rate. So that's the rate we should use to get the maturity value, present value at back five years to get us back to $20,000. And so I've set up an amortization table here, similar to what we saw in 6A. And I also mentioned that this is like the effective interest rate table, same sort of setup that's in my intermediate accounting 21 and 22 videos. So what happens is, on the issue date, there's our fair market value of 20000 And remember that when we're amortizing a discount, we increase the carrying value up to par. And so here's what we do. We take, in year one, the original carrying amount times 12%. That is the interest revenue to the note receivable owner and the amortization that we dis that we the discount that we amortize. If I click on the end of year one, the new carrying amount is the old amortization, the old carrying amount in blue times the one year's amortization in green. It's higher. Next year, same thing. New carrying value in blue times 12%. That's the interest revenue and the discount amortization. We add your two's amortization to the old carrying amount, we come up with a new carrying amount. And we see that at the end of year five, we end up with rounding at the 35,247 number that is the uh, maturity value of the loan. So if we look at in T account form, our note receivable starts 35,247. The difference between the 20,000 fair market value and the maturity is 15,247. That's our discount on note receivable. And what happens is, is that over five years, we amortize that discount to get rid of it so that the balance with rounding goes to zero at the end of five years, and all that money, that 15247 with rounding, goes to interest revenue. So the discount gets amortized into revenue. 
if you want to look at in journal entry form, on the issue date, the owner of the note is going to recognize a receivable, a discount on note receivable, the cost of the land that they're selling, because when we sell something, we take it off the books at cost. And then we also want to recognize a gain on sale, because in the exchange, we're exchanging that land at $20,000, not fourteen. dollars so we're going to list the $14,000 land cost and a $6,000 sale. And so we have a balanced entry. And each year, we're going to debit the discount to get rid of it, and we're going to move that money into interest revenue. That's the end of intermediate accounting 16. Our not on the web series is our uh, series of videos grouped by topic, repackaged information added, so that you can look at them in half hour and hour long increments. You'll find those on our website. Additional videos not on YouTube. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL. You can email me for a complete listing of our videos on YouTube. For live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and chat sessions, stltest.net is the website. Here's our email and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.